What is this? Oh, is this Spice Girls? Spice Girls. Yes! I love this! This is like my childhood song. Man, I forgot how, how good old music is. This is definitely on my like Spotify party music list. I literally don't even know who sings this. I don't I don't know who this is. I've just heard it a thousand times. Yes. The temptation to sing along is so intense. If you wanna be my lover, you got to get with my friends. Make it last forever. Friendship never ends. If you wanna be my lover, you have got to give. Is that Mel B? Yeah, she's Judge on America's Got Talent now. This is a really weird music video. I feel like this is one of those songs that every single person knows, like the chorus, but like doesn't know any of the verses. This is gonna get stuck in my head for days now. It's a little cheesy, little corny. Is it bad that I know every word of this song? No, I do too. They're so cute. I just love them. They're such iconic people. It's a catchy song. It's a classic. It's so catchy. It, everybody is like, they have to sing to it. We're now going to show you a medley of more of this group's songs. Oh, okay. I don't even know if I've heard their other music. I'm you Are you in the middle of a desert somewhere? This is such 90s. Honestly, I don't know any of their other songs. Yeah, I don't know that one. Considering I know like when this came out, yeah, it's, it's pretty good for the time. I have never seen these videos and they're so cool. That's an interesting uh, setting. This is kind of cringy. This sounds so familiar, but I don't know if I've heard it before. It's the only way I didn't like that song, it was kind of kind of boring. The video just looks really weird. I think it's just because it's a 90s thing, I guess. Oh, I, I'm pretty certain I've heard this one before. I've never heard this song. Okay, I've heard this song. There's some science fiction thing going on here. Spice Girls Coffee, that's amazing. Wait. Is it the Spice Girls? Oh, okay, I do know who this is. Right now, thank you very much. This was not bad. Well, they're very cute. I'll give them that. I don't understand any of their music videos at all. That was painful. It's too goofy. And I'm, it's, oh, that was so bad. I don't know this one either. It's not the end. It seems like they're going to a funeral, but they're like all smiling super happily. So glad we made it. Time will never change it. No, 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 no. Okay, Spice Girls. I know nothing about that. <laughs> for me, that was like enough Spice Girls for like a decade. I'm done now. I can understand the nostalgia behind them. They're like iconic, I think 80s or 90s, like pop girl band, and it's kind of hard just not to like them or at least appreciate them. They're always gonna be like a classic band because everybody like knows who they're the Spice Girls. They represent a lot of like girl power, girl femininity. So what do you think of the Spice Girls? They're really weird. Personally, it's not my type of music. They have a few catchy songs. It's cheesy, but you know, it's okay if you like it. It felt very cheesy, but that's what made it so amazing. If I lived in the 90s, I probably would have really been into them. They're like the epitome of a girl band. Like if you want to be a girl band, you'd model it to some extent after the Spice Girls? Well, the Spice Girls are an English pop girl group from the 90s, and we're covering them today because their first album, Spice, is celebrating its 20th anniversary this year. Oh, nice. Wow, that's amazing. I wouldn't have known that. Wow, okay. 
Well, they're older than me. How do the Spice Girls compare to girl groups of today? I couldn't tell you because I don't listen to girl groups of today. I know of Fifth Harmony and so similar. The music videos, the dancing, the music, like very similar. They're much more classier than they are today. Lil Mix and Fifth Harmony, I feel like they're kind of they want to make another Spice Girls, but you can't really compare to the first. I don't think they're as um, sexual as I'd say a lot of girl groups are today. A lot of uh, media nowadays is all about you know sexuality and showing off you know your body and whatnot. But uh, in those videos, there wasn't really much of that going on. They were kind of like they, they had full-on coats on in one of them, which is totally crazy to think about compared to what we see in music videos now. They were having more like general empowerment of girls and women, but nowadays I feel this is just me, but I feel like uh, girl bands are more empowering based off of guys. They're I trying guess to so be it's like, they're yes, yeah. you guys broke up, but you don't need him. Okay, but why have the guy there anyways just make a song about empowering girls? One of the most famous things about the group was that they each had their own nickname. Do you know what they were? I I have no idea. Mm, I can't remember, but I definitely like know because my friends talk about them all the time. Isn't it like ginger? It's all I know. The only one I remember is Scary Spice. Scary Spice, Posh Spice, that's all I know. Baby Spice. There's Sporty Spice, Ginger Spice? I don't know the other two. Posh Spice, Baby Spice, and then I'm just gonna go with like Cayenne and Paprika and Cinnamon. All right, we're gonna walk you through some of their nicknames now, okay? All right. This is Sporty Spice. Sporty Spice, wow, that's a great name. I guess, yeah, she looks pretty sporty. She looks pretty athletic. She's holding a weight in her hand. She's a fitness gal. And this is Baby Spice. Oh, I can see how, because she has like a baby face. She looks like a 22 year old who can't get out of her childhood. The other girl, she looked a little little athletic. This one, she's looking like with the the pigtails, you know, a little babyish. That's kind of weird. Why are you equating yourself with uh, being younger than you are? But okay. And this one is Ginger Spice. Hey, that's the one that I knew. She's, she, I was like, she's pretty cute. Ginger. Oh, because she's a redhead. Okay. Ginger. Oh, oh ginger. ginger, yeah, huh. that makes sense. Uh -huh. I got you. Those shoes, oh my gosh, I need those in my life. Where's pumpkin spice? Ha <laughs> ha. Sorry. This is scary spice. Scary spice. I suppose that hairdo is kind of terrifying. Her style's a little more edgy. Is she a judge on something? I feel like she's a judge on like America's Got Talent. Does scary spice become Mel B, who's like the new person on America's Got Talent? Got it. Finally, this is posh spice. Posh. Ooh. She's cute. Posh Spice. Okay, I can see why they call her that. Posh means like privileged or like dress up nice and whatnot. She might be the most famous, she might be the most rich. So Posh's real name was Victoria Adams, but then she got married and now she is Victoria Beckham. Oh, okay. What? I didn't know <laughs> She's married to David Beckham. What the heck? David Beckham's a lucky guy. So finally their album Spice ended up selling over 31 million copies worldwide. That's impressive. Making it the best selling album by a female group in history. Wow, okay. Well, go Spice Girls. Yes, represent girls. When you combine that album sales with the rest of the Spice album sales, it's over 80 million albums sold, which some say makes them the biggest British phenomenon since the Beatles. That's crazy. That's kind of scary. I would never want to associate them in the Beatles. They had sold out tours, they had tons of merchandise, they even made a movie called Spice World. They did? <laughs> in a movie? Really? Oh, wow, I've never even heard of that. I feel like I've heard of it before, but never actually seen it. You know that was a bad movie. I've never even seen it or heard of it, but I can just tell it was bad. If the Spice Girls were around today, would they still be able to achieve this kind of success? Sadly, I don't think so. I don't think that their particular sound would go well in today's music industry. I think if One Direction's still relevant, then yes, they'd be able to do it. Yes, I still listen to their songs and my friends are love their songs. I think so. Probably. I think they would have to conform a little bit to fit modern music. If it's completely new, I think someone would have took it on, but I'm not sure if it would have had the exact success it did because like their outfits and the way they shot their music videos and even the music was definitely like 80s, 90s culture. And like the culture we have today is so much different. Thanks for watching this episode of Teens React. If you really, really, really want to see more, subscribe. Bye guys, make sure you spice up your life. Hey guys, it's Kyle, associate producer here at FBE and super fan of the Spice Girls. They were actually my first concert that I ever went to. What are your memories of the Spice Girls? Do you have any? Let us know in the comments.